I'm remaking a portion of this video because the original video was a little bit hard to read. It seems that it uploaded in a very low resolution. So I'm remaking the video in the hopes that it will actually be a little more readable. So this second video is meant to kind of piggyback on the first video. Now the way I'm making this video is through the use of a virtual machine on my Windows 8 computer. So as you can see here, I have my DVD drive set up on IDE controller 0 in the first slot. And I have a 6 terabyte hard drive set up as what will be SDA. And on IDE controller 1, I have the MyCloud 2 terabyte image. So if you're doing this on a physical computer, you'll just have to have the drives set up in such a way that you'll know what SDA and SDB are and, and you'll have to know your own configuration. This is just how I'm doing it for this video. So go ahead and boot the system up and that will bring up and that will boot into the system rescue image. And from there you want to go down to option number seven and hit enter and that will start to load the system rescue CD. And when you get to this point, you can go ahead and just hit enter, or you can wait and let the timer run down. And this takes a takes a minute to load up here, but it'll Now from this point, you want to go ahead and start entering in your commands. The first command you're going to enter is mkdir space forward slash mnt forward slash usb and then hit enter. And then the next command you're going to enter is you're going to type the word mount space minus t space ntfs space forward slash DEV forward slash SDB1 space forward slash MNT forward slash USB and then hit enter. To verify that you have used the correct device type in the command LS space forward slash MNT forward space USB and hit enter. Now it's time to start copying the image onto the hard drive. To do this, you're going to type the command dd space if equals forward slash mnt forward slash usb forward slash mycloud2tb.img space of equals forward slash dev forward slash sda and hit enter. After you hit enter, this will actually start creating the image on the hard drive. On my computer, this took about 18 or 19 minutes, 17 or 18 minutes. So you have to be patient because it will take a little while. But for this video, I am going to edit that portion out and skip right to the next step. Now that the image has been copied onto the hard drive, type in the command parted and hit enter. Then you're going to type in the command unit space s and hit enter. Then type p and hit enter. Don't worry about that error message. Type ok and hit enter. Type fix and hit enter. Once you've done that, type in the command rm4 and hit enter. And then type the command mkpart space primary and hit enter for file system ext4 and then hit enter. For the start, type in 9428992s and hit enter. And if you're doing a 6 terabyte hard drive, like I'm demonstrating in this video, 
type in 117-210-43967-S and hit enter. And that's pretty much it. Type the word quit, hit enter, and then type the word sync and hit enter. And now I'm going to edit in the rest of my first video to finish off this updated video. At this point, what I did was I shut down my computer and rebooted in Ubuntu in order to format the created partition to make it usable with the MyCloud. With that partition formatted, you're ready to take the hard drive out of your computer and hook it up in the MyCloud enclosure and power it up. Now, if you've never put a hard drive back into a MyCloud, it's not very difficult to do. I'll show you here the process of putting a hard drive back in. Now, I'm not going to close the case fully, but this will give you the process of what you need to do to get a hard drive reinstalled back into the case.
Once the hard drive is installed and the case is put back together, plug it in and you're ready to go.